now we will see how you can easily set the properties at the question level. To set properties at the question level, you have to select a question, and then in this case, for example, we can select the first, and then you click on edit. Here you get the edit question screen, and here on the right of the screen, you can select the properties. Of course, the most important properties is the question type. Okay. And then you can also select the question group. But then another important feature to set is the field called mandatory. If you set it to on, the system will not skip to the next question until the respondent answer to this question. So be careful and set to mandatory only questions that are very relevant for your survey, of course. Here in the relevance equation, you will see the result of the filter. So we have already seen the filters, how they work. For now, you see one. By default, the, the relevance equation field is set to one. One means always show this question. So this field will be changed only if you set a filter on this question. Now you will we will see also the display group. Here we have some option. One, for example, is hide tip. Hide tip, tip are the suggestions, suggestions that the system sometimes also automatically gives to the respondents. I suggest to set it to home, that is to hide tips, as Lime Survey default tips are not always clear and uh, may be disturbing for your respondents, okay? Then other fields change from, from question to question. So in this case, this is a text input uh, box. So we may select the size of the text input box as a percentage of the screen, or you can also in every moment click on the information mm, button. So you can also set the size as a number. And another important group is the input group. Here you will see option that will change according to the question type. As it is a, a text input field, here you can set the maximum num number of characters. So, for example, if I uh, want that the answer uh, is uh, limited to 200 characters, I can set it to 200, for example. So, you can also uh, randomize the uh, the option, but this is uh, used only for some questions. Remember, the option change from question type to question type. So, for example, if you have a numerical input question, here in the input, you will see, for example, instead of ma maximum characters, a field called, for exam example, maximum value or minimum volume, okay? So here you can easily set the properties for your question. Remember, if you want to apply the properties to your question, you have always to select save after you have set your properties.